Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to find rotifers. They can be found just about anywhere there's moss and algae. Right now I'm selecting some pieces of algae off the base of this tree, putting them in a cup, and I'm going to mix up some grass and leaves in the cup. Rotifers are just like water bears. When it's dry outside during a drought, they go into a state of suspended animation, and you have to add some water to the cup to reanimate them and get them moving around again. Now that I'm adding water to this cup, I'm going to let it sit around for a few days. Right here on this counter, next to the aquarium with an ultraviolet light. This cup has been sitting here for one day, in the middle. Now this cup on the end has been sitting here for about two days, and this is the one I'm going to bring over to the table and look at today under the microscope. First thing I do is start stirring up the water to get any small creatures that might be on the moss into the water so that I can suck them up with the dripper. I don't put it on a microscope slide because one drop of water at a time is a very low chance of finding one of the rotifers. So I put it onto this small dish I have which is actually made for collecting coins. You put a coin in there to protect it. And I have found these work very good for this. When you put the top on, they're usually very waterproof. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this over onto the microscope. I like to put it on top of a slide so that I'm able to move it back and forth. Without the slide underneath it being held, I would be unable to move it back and forth. Just forward and backwards. I have my digital camera hooked up to the top of the microscope so that I can record what I'm seeing. Also, the digital camera's digital zoom can be very helpful for this. The digital camera and the eyepieces usually are not focused the same way, so I just tend to look at the camera screen. Now I'm going to shut the lights off. After 10 minutes and replacing the water in the dish four times, I have finally found a rotifer. This one, you can tell, has been eating a lot since it's been in that cup. Its stomach is completely filled with plant cells. These are filter feeders. Now I'm about to show you one of them filter feeding. As you can see, their mouth is just like a vortex, dragging everything in the general area towards it. They filter out small plant and algae cells that they want to eat. Everything else gets filtered right through and released back into the water. You can now see all the fragments being dragged towards its mouth. You just saw that long skinny piece just went right through because the rotifer does not want that piece. Occasionally the rotifer will contract its body to swallow everything. The rotifer is anchored there the same way a leech would anchor itself. Rotifers are actually quite fascinating to watch under the microscope. And you can see right there in that example, their mouth is quite powerful to be able to move that larger piece. The rotifer just contracted and swallowed some of its food. If you look very closely, the rotifer's mouth has like two pinwheel shaped wheels that drag everything towards itself. You see, the rotifer is kind of moving around now. I have just zoomed out. Now you can start to see the bigger picture. Everything moving towards the rotifer's mouth and everything moving away. You can see how much current this one tiny creature actually creates. Everything else you're seeing are plant cells and just debris that were picked up through the moss. Oh, there goes that big piece again towards its mouth. The rotifer is contracting again and swallowing its food. And back out again to do more filter feeding. Swallowing once again. When the rotifer starts to move around a whole bunch like this, not exactly filter feeding, it's because everything in the general area has already been 
picked up. So the rotifer must detach itself and start moving around to try to find a new location. Now the rotifer is going to start setting up again and try some more filtering over in this area. Now the rotifer is moving off screen. In just a minute you're going to see how fast the rotifer can actually move across the screen. Rotifers can be found just about anywhere. In a gutter, on the bottom of a lake, in a pond, on moss, in salt water. Some people actually purposely grow rotifers for smaller animals to eat. You can buy live rotifers for animals such as clownfish I've seen. Oh, look at this guy go really fast. I also found this worm. Not sure exactly what it is, but I hope this video was interesting. Thanks for watching.